do you think there is too much of it? Do do you think that that for the average person, and I include myself in that, that looking at a picture of men's health is just going to depress you because for people to get to that position, they either have to cheat, um, they have to starve, they have to take either steroids or they have to take uh, human hormones, whatever it may be. Do you think that there is too much pressure now? And, and I, I think there has always been on, on, on females, but also on males now. This body dysmorphia, all this oh, stuff. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I 100% do. I, I did part of my dissertation on this where we started even looking at the uh, figurines, like um, the looking at Action Man and how he's changed over the years. It's crazy. If you look at like 1980s, 1990s Action Man, you know, and you looked at his proportions, his biceps were like, you know, 12 inches. If you made him life size, you know, his chest was, you know, whatever it was, 30, you know, six inches, I believe. You look at the, the, the kid, that the, the, the figurines that the kids are playing with now, and he's got like, you know, 30 inch biceps, his chest is, you know. So it, it, you're 100% right. I think it's rife within the male sort of fitness industry, but not often spoken about on the same level as, you know, anorexia and, and bulimia. Um, and even those also affecting males. That's, you know, bulimia and anorexia are often seen um, as things that plague the female fitness industry. But no, like in my experience, um, and to speak so honestly about it as well, with friends of mine who have done, you know, physique competitions and, and modeling, um, they, they openly talk about it and they know something's wrong, but they will go and compete. And there's this idea of getting your body fat so low. So you're competing, competing, you look incredible, you're tanned, you know, the lighting as well for those pictures. So also an element of that, you know, the, they look amazing, but they look in the mirror that day and they go, I'm never going to look this good. This is it. This is the peak. So it's that idea of eudaimonia and going on a journey and being intrinsically versus extrinsically motivated. Now, if you're extrinsically motivated and you've got that picture of you looking amazing, where do you go from there? Like that's, that's, that's it. Is that, and, is there a, and is there a limit to that? And, and should, we, we, should we be scared and worried for the future that we are, we are setting unattainable goals for the human body in terms of its look? Yeah, I think and I hope that we're seeing a slight transition in that, that you are seeing a lot of people now where bodies are celebrated. I never forget, it was Chris Froome uh, and he was, I think it was in Men's Health. And uh, some of the comments on social media really made me quite upset because they were, if you've looked at Chris Froome, his arm, his, his bicep and tricep is non-existent basically because he doesn't need them. <laughs> like he won Tour de France, why do you need bicep? And has to hold on to some handlebars and he probably got a better grip than most people. It's exactly it, it's exactly it. Whereas some people were like, oh my God, look at his body, he looks like a skeleton. And I was just like, my God. Like that, and that made me so upset because I was thinking you want that guy to go and win the Tour de France, to kill himself off in what is a superhuman feat. But, but you also want him to have what, 21 inch biceps as well. And I think that was one thing that I found as well, that I, you know, I, I got trolled a little bit on social media on the swim when they were like, how to lose your games. And I was like- Mate, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's true. What do you think? Look, look, you're a younger man than me. And you, you, you know, I, 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 I use social media like anybody else does. This will be on social media. But, but do you not think that there is an element of cruelty to it that, that is, is mainly born out of the fact that it's slightly anonymous? that you would yeah. never say that to someone's face. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. But it's weird because social media, I found, can bring out the very best in people and the worst. When I started The Swim, you only have to go back because it's all there. You look on episode one on YouTube and you can look at the comments and people go, and he's never going to do it. Uh, he, he looks like a dwarf bodybuilder. All of the comments. Oh, mate. Oh, and I never mind because I... Do you not... Oh, oh, I do. I think some of it hurts. I think some of it... If you read it all, it's going to hurt you. Yeah, you know uh, I think, uh, yeah, but I, I, it hasn't because I've grown up with it now, you know, so I think what's, I just will kind of go, oh, and, and actually at the time, I remember thinking like noted, noted. And what's hilarious is when you look back over those comments, some people were so outspoken, big capital letters going, this will never happen. He will die trying or he's going to sink. And someone's already gone back over those comments and gone, well, this is awkward since <laughs> finishing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and so what was so nice, I think I found, and this is what I love about social media, is um, you can create a tribe of people who will get it. <laughs> <laughs>